Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to a brand new Roblox Studio video. My name is Floppy, and today guys, I'm going to be showing you how to make a coin give you currency when touched. So for starters, we're going to want to make sure Explorer and Properties are open. If Explorer and Properties are not open, we want to head up to the top bar here, click on View, and enable Explorer and Properties. So now that you've enabled Explorer and Properties, we want to head over to Explorer, and we want to find where it says Service Script Service. We want to click on Service Script Service, and click on the plus button, and then insert a script. You want to go down to the description of this video, copy and paste the first piece of code. It's going to be called something like leader stat script, because basically what the script is going to do now is going to create us leader stats. If you don't know what leader stats are, I'll show you in a second. But you want, what you want to do, copy that code and bring it back to Roblox Studio and paste it in. We are able to adjust a couple of things here. So it doesn't really matter what this area is here called, these coin things, it doesn't really matter. But depending on what you want your currency to be called for the tutorial it's going to be called coins but let's say you want it to be cash you just change it to cash but we're going to keep it as coins so once you're finished adjusting this part of the script we want to go up here and click on the x button and feel free to rename this script to whatever you want so you can keep it more organized but it just has to be in service script service then what you're going to want to do is go and create your coin you can use a part, you can use a like a cylinder like I'll be doing in this tutorial. You can use a mesh, really whatever. You just want there to be a part which you can say is your coin. So here, this is gonna be our coin. We can adjust it. Let's, let's make it maybe like a coin color, maybe something like that. This will be our coin. What we wanna do then is make sure that it is anchored. Then we wanna click on the plus button next to our part or our cylinder or whatever. And you wanna insert a script. So now that you've inserted the script into the, your coin part, we want to go down to the description of this video, copy and paste the second script, probably going to be called something like coin script. You want to go and copy all that code there and bring it back to Roblox Studio, remove all the previous code and paste in the new code. So now that you've inserted all the necessary code into the script, there are a couple more things you need to adjust. So you can adjust the respawn time because what will happen here when someone touches it after a certain amount of seconds, the part will reappear and someone else is able to collect it. So this basically determines on how often and how quickly that part will respawn. For this tutorial, we've got, we've got it set to five and I'm gonna leave it as five, but if you want that coin to only reappear every two minutes, you make this 120 because two minutes in seconds is 120. But here we go, for this tutorial, we'll just be putting it as five we are able to adjust how much that coin gives the player. So change the plus one button, this plus one, this right here, change this number to how much currency you want that coin to give. So let's say you had different areas and let's say this is maybe area one over here and let's say this is area two and area two, it gives maybe 10 um, currency instead of just one currency over here. What you wanna do, we just wanna go and change this script here and change this to 10. But you can do whatever you would like for this tutorial. We'll just be giving the um, the player one currency if they touch this coin. Adjusting parts of the code, you wanna go up here and click the X button next to script. And then we wanna to go to file, publish to Roblox, and let's go test it out in the main Roblox page. To doubt, we wanna go and click on our part and you wanna make sure that can collide is disabled and unticked. Because now with it being unticked, a player can easily run through and the coin will work perfectly but if it was ticked when someone touches this part the transparency will be set to zero but there will just be like an invisible wall or in invisible obstacle which will be there now by our setting can collide to disable there will be no obstacles at all as you guys can see we have just loaded into the game and up here is our leader stats yes i currently already have 25 um coins because I've just had to test it out a little bit. But usually you would start off with zero coins because you haven't touched this part yet. But as you guys can see, the leader stats are over here. And the moment we go and touch this part here, we'll be able to walk straight through and this coin will disappear, but we'll add one value or one coin to our leader stats. As you guys can see, we walked through the part, the part or coin disappeared and we received plus one coin. If we do that again and we touch the coin, we now have 27 and the part disappears and after five seconds, the part will reappear. If you guys are a little bit lost or you don't really know what you're doing, feel free to send me a message on Discord and I'll happily help you out. 
But anyway, guys, I'm going to wrap up the video here. If you did enjoy, I'd appreciate if you do consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel. I'd really appreciate it. But anyway, have a lovely rest of your day, and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Peace.